is one of my favorites, especially if I fried. Uh, the words of this song is just beautiful. So, uh, if you got to find the book, uh, there's going to be a meeting. Let me take this opportunity to welcome everybody this morning. We appreciate another day the Lord's blessed us with a beautiful day. November, and we're up in the 70s again. It's wonderful weather, and I'm not complaining. Uh, could use a little rain, so we're, we're just praying and asking the Lord to send us some rain. And uh, I know this time of the year gets real dry, and I'm always worried about forest fires and things like that. So, uh, won't you do just join in with us today and let's just worship him in spirit and truth. Lift up holy hands and praise him. He's worthy to be praised. And we're glad that, uh, you know, we're still numbered among the living. The Lord let us get up this morning. It's a, just a blessing to be uh, able to be up and moving around. I'm thankful for it. Glad to have Brother Wesley Lowry with us. Uh, uh, and he's going to be bringing the message here in just a little bit. We're glad to have him. We appreciate the Lowry family. Uh, they've been a blessing to us down through the years, and I uh, just appreciate the goodness of the Lord. Appreciate each one of you that are here this morning. Appreciate the choir. Y'all sound, sounding good, looking good. So uh, I don't know any reason why we can't go to meeting this morning, do you? And if you're here this morning and don't know the Lord, then we 
uh, I encourage you to seek him with your whole heart. He said he'd be found of, of us if we'd seek him with our whole heart. So let's just do all we can this morning to lift up his name and give him praise. We're glad you're here this morning. You mind the Lord.
say we're certainly glad to have everyone here with us today, especially our visitors. And this this time we'll be taking up for the building fund, if everyone will stand.
Like when you're going to sing one? You want to sing Jesus Loves Me? You sure? Amen. I sure am thankful to be in the Lord's house this morning. Uh, I'm thankful for uh, each one. Uh, the Lord allowed you to be able to be here, and I'm thankful, uh, surely as a little girl sang, uh, this is the day the Lord hath made. Uh, we will rejoice and be glad therein. I, uh, you say, preacher, sometimes it's raining, sometimes the sun is shining. I, uh, sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's warm. I, uh, but the Lord made every day. I, uh, and I'm glad he's the Lord of every day. I, uh, this morning I'm thankful for Jesus. Jesus, I, I, and for what he means to me, I, I, and you have your Bibles, we're going to read maybe a verse or two in the book of St. John, I, uh, the 19th chapter, and I'll just tell you, I, uh, the Lord, I, <laughs> or not, uh, uh, the 20th chapter, uh, uh, starting over here, uh, uh, around the 19th verse, we'll try to read, uh, uh, the Lord laid this on me when we come in the building, uh, uh, he laid this place on my heart and he said, don't take no thought uh, uh, for what you're going to say, and I got here and the Lord laid this on my heart, uh, uh, and so you listen this morning, uh, uh, for I can't do anything without him. I, uh, there's no good words that I've got. I, uh, but Jesus, I, uh, he's got exactly what you need this morning. I, uh, friend, he loves you. I, uh, he knows what shape you're in. I, uh, he knows what you've been through. I, uh, and he knows where you're going. I, uh, and I'm thankful for it this morning. I, I'd hate to think that I had to come up with what to say, uh, uh, but I'm glad the Spirit uh, uh, is able to give you that you need uh, uh, in the 20th chapter uh, of the book of St. John uh, uh, in the 19th verse uh, uh, then the same day at evening uh, uh, being the first day of the week uh, uh, when the doors were shut uh, uh, where the disciples were assembled for fear uh, uh, of the Jews uh, uh, came Jesus uh, uh, and stood 
in the midst and saith unto them, Have a peace, have a be unto you this morning, and that'll be all we'll read. But as we begin to think about the scripture this morning, the disciples were in a low place, brother Jerry. They had seen some tough times. They had witnessed how Jesus had been beaten at scores. They seen some things that brought them low. But they didn't have run off in different directions. They wasn't one hiding over here and one over yonder. That Jesus came at the where they were at. Even with the door shut, you say, preacher, they had it closed down so the world couldn't get in. Well, when we come in this house, we should have. Uh, the things of this old world out. Uh, uh, why, preacher, uh, uh, we don't want none of that mess uh, uh, in God's house. Uh, uh, we don't want none of those things uh, uh, to be a hindrance. Uh, well, but I'm glad uh, uh, that even uh, uh, with the doors being shut, uh, uh, Jesus had uh, uh, come Ship. 
And then one of them finally had enough sense to go down in the hinder part of the ship. And he began to come to the Lord. And they said, Master, carest thou not? Uh, that we perish. Uh, uh, and you know uh, uh, how many times uh, uh, have you been uh, going through a valley, uh, uh, going through a trial, uh, and you begin to wonder, uh, uh, doesn't the Lord uh, uh, care what's going on? Uh, uh, you say, preacher, uh, I ain't never been there. Uh, uh, well, I've known plenty, uh, and I've been in some valleys uh, uh, where I was a wondering, I was wondering, Brother Jerry, Lord, don't you know where I'm at? And what happened? Jesus, he come up on the ship. When they had done all they could do, when everything looked impossible, when everything looked like they were wasn't nothing they could do about it anymore. They just figured we're going down. I'm glad that one said that no man cared for my soul. But let me tell you this. Oh, the Lord began to rebuke the wind. And he said, Peace, be still. And I know the Bible doesn't say that uh, how loud he said it brother Jerry uh, I don't believe it was a whisper because uh, they couldn't have heard it uh, but uh, it said that his voice uh, was as the sound of many waters uh, I began to tell it uh, to sit down uh, and to just uh, be at peace uh, and he asked them disciples uh, uh, where is your faith? Uh, yes. And you know, uh, you say, preacher, uh, uh, they didn't know what was going to happen. Uh, uh, friend, uh, uh, with Jesus uh, uh, down on the inside, uh, uh, there was no way uh, uh, for that ship to go down. Uh, you say, preacher, uh, uh, they had everything shut out. Uh, uh, everything else was on the outside. Uh, uh, but Jesus uh, uh, was on the inside. Uh, but you glad, uh, even with the doors being shut, uh, uh, Jesus was on the inside. Uh, uh, preacher, uh, I built up walls. Uh, the world uh, uh, made me cold and indifferent. Uh, well, let me tell you, uh, uh, Jesus uh, uh, can go right on through them. Uh, uh, they won't slow him down. Uh, uh, they won't stop him. Uh, uh, there won't be any hindrance uh, uh, to keep him uh, uh, from getting to right where you are. Uh, uh, you say, preacher, he said, no man cared for my soul. Uh, uh, why do you think Peter uh, uh, wrote down in uh, uh, the fifth chapter? Uh, uh, he said, casting uh, uh, all your, uh, uh, your care upon him, uh, uh, for he cares for you. Uh, <coughs> he knows uh, about you this morning. Uh, and he said, uh, uh, he just simply came in uh, and said, Peace uh, uh, be unto you. Uh, uh, you say, Preacher, I don't have the words. Uh, uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, uh, friend, let me tell you, uh, uh, Paul wrote down over there in the book of Philippians, uh, uh, he told him, he said, And the peace of God, uh, uh, which passeth all understanding, uh, uh, shall keep uh, uh, your heart 
hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. I don't even have to know what to think. I don't have to know what to say. My heart can be troubled and the peace of God can come in and wrap me up just like my mom and daddy used to. Pick me up. You say, preacher, I can't even hold myself up. The Lord it said when father and mother forsake me. He said, then the Lord will lift me up. Aren't you glad? He don't want to leave you. In that shape. But he's looking to bring peace unto you this morning. I don't know what you're wrestling with. But you know what? Old Jacob, he wrestled with that angel, didn't he? And he wrestled with it and wrestled with it and wrestled with it. And then you know what he said? I said, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. Well, why don't you just claim to Jesus until he blesses you and see if it wasn't worth it. There's too many times people will get out and they'll pray and then they'll get back up and be defeated. If you don't get it, go back again and keep going back till you get what you need. Friend, I tell you, I'll sing that. You seen some of them? Huh? It gets picked green. Huh? Uh, and they just wasn't ready yet. Uh, uh, friend, let me tell you something. Uh, uh, if it's in the Lord's time, uh, uh, it'll be ready every time. Uh, uh, it'll be ripe every time. Uh, uh, there won't be a thing wrong with it uh, uh, when it's in His time. Uh, uh, but I'm going to tell you, uh, uh, if you ain't got uh, uh, your peace yet, uh, uh, you can have it this morning. Uh, uh, but it's up to you. Uh, a uh, friend, Jesus loves you, uh, and He wants to help you. Uh, you say, preacher, these disciples were discouraged; uh, they were distressed. A uh, friend, the Lord came right to where they were. Uh, uh, so that they might have peace. Uh, uh, I read over yonder in the book of Luke uh, uh, that they was two uh, uh, walking to a uh, uh, And you know what happened? Uh, uh, they were sad, wasn't they? Uh, uh, but you know what Jesus did? Uh, uh, he came right to where they were. Uh, uh, and, uh, uh, and he said, uh, uh, Why are you so sad? Uh, uh, why uh, are you in this shame? Uh, this morning uh, uh, friend let me tell you uh, uh, you need uh, uh, to talk to Jesus about it uh, uh, friend nothing uh, uh, was made better uh, until Jesus uh, uh, was on the scene uh, uh, but I'll guarantee you uh, uh, when he comes on the scene uh, uh, things uh, uh, can be made better uh, you say, preacher, uh, uh, he may not answer the way I want him to. Uh, uh, friend, let me tell you something. Uh, uh, there's one thing about Jesus. Uh, uh, he'll answer the right way uh, uh, every time. Uh, uh, he don't make no mistakes. Uh, I thought about that a many times, Brother Jerry. Uh, uh, I've known a whole lot of them. Uh, uh, they'll tell me you need to read this book. Uh, uh, you need to read that book. Uh, I said, well, let me tell you something. Uh, uh, this book right here, uh, uh, Lord wrote it down a long time ago. Uh, uh, and them people that try to figure it out, uh, uh, the Lord knew what it was when he told them to pin it down. Uh, uh, he don't need nobody uh, uh, to explain it to him. Uh, uh, you say, preacher, uh, uh, how does it work? Uh, uh, friend, if uh, uh, when Jesus uh, uh, gets on the scene, uh, uh, he said, if any man lack wisdom, uh, uh, let him ask of God uh, uh, that give it to all men liberally uh, and upbraideth not. Uh, you want to know about it? Uh, 
I advise you uh, to go to the author. Uh, I advise you. Uh, there's a lot of them can write about it. Uh, but I know the one that wrote it. Uh, and friend, if you want to know about it, uh, you let him get on the scene. Uh, friend, you say, preacher, uh, does he always give it to you? Uh, he does when it's time. Uh, I have some scriptures the Lord said. Uh, no, it's not time yet, son. Uh, and I prayed and prayed and prayed. Uh, and you know what happened, Brother Jerry? Uh, the Lord said, go over here. Uh, and they'd be a preacher, get up. Uh, and he'd preach it just as pretty as you please. Uh, and the Lord say, see, uh, uh, that's what it means. Uh, uh, you say, God can't do that. Uh, uh, friend, God is well able uh, uh, to do all things this morning. Uh, and nothing's going to work right till he... Uh, uh, is on the scene. Uh, uh, friend, you say, preacher, uh, uh, they was people that were sick. Uh, uh, they were people that were lame. Uh, and none of them uh, uh, got better uh, till Jesus came. Uh, uh, you say, preacher, they healed in the old Bible. Uh, uh, they did through the power of God. Uh, uh, but when Jesus came, uh, uh, the only way uh, uh, to make a difference uh, uh, was through him. Uh, you say preacher uh, Paul said uh, he healed different ones uh, Peter healed different ones uh, let me tell you what they said uh, Peter got over there to that man by the gate uh, he said silver and gold have I none uh, but such as I have uh, give I thee he didn't say in my name uh, he didn't say in John's name he said in the the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. Friend, the only way for a difference to be made is through the Lord Jesus Christ. I thought about this a lot of times. Since the Lord called me to preach, I was told to study. I was told to pray. And then some of the best advice I believe I was ever given was to let go and let God have it. Because I'm going to tell you, I can get my thoughts in there and miss stuff up. But you know what? If I just sit there and I say, Lord, you know what's needed. I don't know. Please send it. And I just let my mind clear and be at peace with Jesus. He just sends it all. Ain't you glad? We don't serve no pretend God. We don't serve no dead one. We don't serve one that can't do. We serve one that can come right in the midst of us uh, and you can feel his presence uh, friend let me tell you uh, what did Moses say uh, he said I'll go if your presence oh go with me uh, why preacher because uh, he knew better uh, than to step out on his own uh, friend I could read scripture uh, you say preacher uh, the Solomon said the preacher sought out acceptable words uh, and found that which was written was upright Right. Even words of truth. Amen. Just let Jesus use those words. Well, I praise him for it. You say, preacher, because when he uses them, he uses them in love. What did the Bible say? It said, don't let your good be evil spoken of. They some of it. I've seen them that they have. I want to swing that sword as hard as they can. Well, you know what? Jesus told them. Uh, Jesus said, uh, put up thy sword. Uh, he said, them that live by the sword will uh, die by too. Uh, he said, all have sinned uh, and come short of the glory of God. Uh, but you know how you make a difference? Uh, I ain't never made a difference. Uh, beat nobody over the head, Brother Jerry. Uh, but you know what I had to do? Uh, I had to let the love of Jesus Christ uh, shine forth in my life. Uh, 
Uh, he said, uh, uh, so let your light, uh, so let your light shine before the world, uh, uh, that they might see your good works uh, and glorify the Father, uh, uh, which is in heaven. A uh, uh, friend, he wants uh, us to be uh, a reflection of the Lord in this life. He was here for a short time in the flesh, 33 and a half years. But he went on back to be with the Father. But he left his people here to tell others about him. You say, preacher, over yonder, after he come forth out of the grave, the Bible said he was seen above 500. And you know what happened? Just a few short days later, on the day of Pentecost, what happened? They were thousand saved. Why, preacher? Because he left his people to tell others about him, to tell others about Jesus. Jesus is the only one that can speak peace unto someone's heart. He's the only one that can speak peace unto your life. You say, preacher, we know these things. Friend, I've had a lot of them. I had one old boy tell me over and over. I was talking to him about the scripture, and he said, I know. I talked to him for a long time. We worked together. And every time we talk about it, he'd tell me, I know. I know. And the last time we talked, Brother Jerry, I looked at him. He had been raised in church. He knew better, and I looked at him. I said, if you know, would you not just do it? Would you not just do it? If you say, preacher, we've heard this all all our life. Uh, friend, it ain't just, uh, he said not to just be a hearer of the word, uh, but to be a doer also. Uh, friend, they was many uh, others. Uh, Jesus said there's a lot of widow women over there. Uh, you say, preacher, uh, they, but the Lord said, uh, I've commanded this one. Uh, uh, he said, told Elijah, I commanded this one. Uh, and you know what happened? Uh, you say, preacher, her faith was weak. Uh, when she heard the message uh, from the man of God, uh, she ended up doing it, didn't she? Uh, she wasn't just a hearer. Uh, she was a doer also. Uh, you say preacher she had doubt. Uh, God knows you. Uh, he knows the doubt you've had. Uh, but that doesn't mean he can't use you. Uh, that's why he told them over yonder. Uh, old Jerry has came. They said don't trouble the master. Uh, what did he say? Uh, he told Jerry he said be not afraid. Uh, only believe. Uh, you say preacher I've struggled with these things. Uh, friend, the Lord said, you just believe on me. Uh, I'm the one uh, uh, that can speak peace to your life. Uh, I'm the one uh, uh, that can speak peace to your neighbor's lives, uh, uh, to your co-workers, uh, uh, to your classmates, uh, uh, to your grandchildren, uh, uh, to your great-grandchildren. Uh, uh, friend, those things uh, uh, come from Jesus. Uh, uh, I think about a lot of my family. Uh, uh, we sung about heaven. Uh, I think about a lot of elders from the church growing up and they've all gone on to be with the Lord brother Jerry but you know what they did they didn't say look to me they said look to Jesus they had already been through it before they knew they'd be leaving but they knew they was one who wrote down a long time ago I will never leave thee nor forsake thee you say, preacher, we're weary, we're tired, we're ready to do 
ought to go somewhere else. Ha, ha, friend Jesus, ha, ha, can come right to where you are ha, ha, and speak peace to you. Ha, ha, you say, preacher, the Lord can let turmoil go. Ha, ha, he sure can. Ha, ha, but you know what? Ha, ha, you go to getting ha, ha, in earnest with Jesus ha, ha, and see about it. Ha, ha, friend, they, ha, ha, Peter was over there locked up in the prison. Ha, ha, I know. Ha, ha, Lord keeps sending. Ha, ha, Peter was locked up in the prison. Ha, ha, they had beheaded. Ha, James over yonder. Ha, and you know what happened? Ha, ha, they were all over there ha, ha, at Mary's house. Ha, oh, what were they doing, preacher? Ha, ha, they were a praying. Ha, ha, what kind of prayer meeting they were having? Ha, ha, what kind of crying out? Ha, ha, friend, I, ha, I had to do my first funeral ha, ha, the other day. Ha, and it was for a boy I taught in school. Ha, ha, so he was but about 23, Brother Jerry. And you know what? I went to my grandparents' house. And you know what we did? They give me a little advice. But you know what happened? Papa looked at me. And he said, Son, we're going to get out and pray. Well, we're going to get down right here. And we're going to pray. And you know what happened? The Lord moved. And took care of me through the whole thing. And I made it right on out. And even more, he gave me the words to say that I knew I didn't have. I know in myself I don't have no great words to help anybody. I feel so insufficient in those situations. I feel like I just don't have a word to help them. But the Lord said, he knows exactly what he's doing. And he does not forsake Oh, you say, preacher, oh, the world may turn against you. Oh, church, oh, different ones that ain't right with the Lord might turn against you. Oh, you know what happened? Oh, David was over there by the brook, oh, oh, over there in Ziglag. Oh, all the families were taken, oh, and all the people got angry, oh, and they wanted to destroy him. Oh, but you know what the Bible said? Oh, it didn't say he said a word to him. The Bible said he encouraged himself in the Lord. And then you know what happened? Uh, uh, he said, bring hither the ephod. Uh, uh, we got to talk to the Lord. Uh, uh, friend, let me tell you something. Uh, uh, you get down in your, uh, uh, wherever you got to get. Uh, uh, some people's got a prayer closet. Uh, uh, some people's got somewhere outside they like to go. Uh, uh, but friend, uh, uh, it's best to have somewhere uh, uh, to be able to go and talk to Jesus. Uh, uh, you say, preacher, I can talk to Jesus anywhere. Oh, well, let me just tell you, oh, there's one thing about Abraham. Oh, wherever the Lord had him dwelling, what did he do? Oh, he built an altar oh, for God. Oh, and friend, if you'll have one built in your life, oh, uh, you'll find a place oh, uh, for Jesus to come into the room. Oh, <coughs> and I'm glad for it this morning. Oh, uh, friend, if you want peace, oh, uh, if you want help in this life, uh, uh, you say, preacher, I'm all right. Uh, uh, friend, the Bible said time and chance uh, uh, happeneth to us all. Uh, uh, you don't know what's coming out there in front of you. Uh, uh, so it's best to be close to the Lord today. Uh, uh, friend, uh, uh, one thing about it, uh, uh, if you're lifting him up and praising him in the sunshine uh, uh, and seeking him then, uh, uh, you won't have to look a long ways to find him in the Right. Uh, friend, uh, uh, you ain't left his side. Uh, he just wants you uh, uh, to get to where he is. Uh, uh, that little woman with the issue of blood didn't let nobody uh, uh, hinder her uh, uh, from getting to where Jesus was. Uh, uh, she had to get down. She had to get humble. Uh, uh, she may have had to crawl. Uh, uh, but you know what happened? Uh, uh, she got to where he was. Uh, 
and she found what she needed. Uh, uh, friend, wherever Jesus is, uh, uh, is where your answer is. Uh, and I'll just tell you in the church house, uh, an altar's a good place to find him, uh, a good place to get close to him, uh, a good place. Uh, uh, to find peace uh, uh, that you need in your life today. Uh, uh, and I'm thankful for it. Uh, uh, the Lord loves you, friend. Uh, uh, and he cares uh, uh, about what's going on in your life. Uh, uh, you may feel like nobody else does. These disciples felt all alone. Uh, uh, and then Jesus came. Uh, uh, they felt like nobody else cared. Uh, uh, they were worried for their own lives. Uh, Jesus uh, uh, came to where they were. Uh, uh, they had prayer meeting in Mary's house and the Lord sent an angel. Uh, uh, delivered Peter on out. Uh, uh, friends, seek the Lord uh, uh, while he may be found. Uh, uh, call upon him while he's near. Uh, uh, you say, preacher, I can do it when the valley comes. Uh, Friend, I'd talk to him now. I, I wouldn't wait on it because uh, it might take a whole lot harder seeking uh, uh, that you wouldn't have to go through uh, if you'd seek his peace today. Uh, uh, and I love you. May the Lord bless you as our prayer. Uh,